Jesus says, The truth is stranger than fiction. Are you ready for me? Rima from June 29, 2021 Words from Jesus through Sister Claire Spoken by Jackie Claire began, Lord, we need your strength for whatever lies ahead. Please visit us with courage and faithfulness. Amen. I asked the Lord, please, tell me, what is going on, Lord? And Jesus answered, what's going on is incredible, beyond belief. It is so convoluted, it is beyond believing, and yet it is true. As you say, the truth is stranger than fiction. Beyond all the satanic worship, there are earth changes going on. Many precipitated by the clay feet, geophysical warfare, sins against humanity, heinous, callous, uncaring sins, where people are only numbers, and it's meant to dislodge nations from their national identity and threaten them into the web of evil that is consuming all the nations of the earth into their identity. Either you play ball or your nation gets devastated. I think about Japan here, who hasn't been cooperative with the clay feet. As a result, has suffered two eight-point-something quakes in the last three weeks. Mudslides, powerful, very powerful typhoon, landslides, just terrible things with a lot of dead. Unbelievable. And I think it's all being done by the clay feet and their Tesla technology. And I think Fukushima was retaliation as well, because they wouldn't go along with the plan. And actually, there's another nuclear plant that is in danger right now in Japan. I don't know too much about it. Jesus continued, You're thinking of the tsunami and well you should be. There is a very high possibility that it will be a geopolitical event to cripple America. But not only San Francisco, the East Coast and New York City as well. Many things are being held back by prayer and fasting. What you have seen in the past will come about. It is merely a matter of time. However, the good people of this nation have been praying and supporting my man for the office of president in order to restore godly values to this nation. And the battle is ferocious. And it's nothing new to tell you the iron and clay feet have cast their net of evil over the whole world, so that Satan can use it as a dragnet, taking souls to hell. Time is short, and what is being implemented is tragedy after tragedy for America. But I've not withdrawn my protection, because her people have woken up from a very long sleep in the comfort of their feather beds. Because they have chosen to fight, I've gone to war with them. That does not mean there will be no incidents of suffering. It means I'm on their side and I've already withheld several devastating blows because of the prayers of the citizens. I receive repentance as a mirror offered in solid gold censers. It is to me the most fragrant of sacrifices, even in remembrance of my childhood. The gifts of the kings and the crucifixion. So many have repented and continue to repent daily. I cannot ignore their entreaties. This is why I have protected this president and given him great favor in crushing this serpent beneath his feet. I love my people so tenderly. I do not wish for anything to strike them, and I work at encouraging prayer to protect them. 
But there comes a time when things are in the Father's hands, and it is up to Him from there. There are many reasons why things happen in this country. It isn't all political. Some of it has to do with sin, such as the sin of abortion. But because the people are against it and fighting it actively, the punishment will be much less severe. Still, the blood of the slain innocents calls out to me, night and day, and I cannot ignore it. I know you're worried, Claire, but do not let this overtake what's left of your day. In all things, moderation, and above all, trust. My heart for my people is above all. Be ready for me to take you at any moment. Know the condition of your soul before me. Know that you are clean and ready to meet me. Spend time in worship and adoration, and do not give your heart and mind to useless pursuits. Do not wait until calamity to settle accounts with me. Do not dangle your feet over the fence, but be firmly planted on the right side, not toying with sin. Even though I've worked with all of you for almost four years now to be ready, still many of you are not ready. Many are caught up in the world and have no idea what could happen to them in the next minute. Therefore, they are not ready for what is coming. It is good that so many of you have awakened to political events and how your liberties have been severely compromised. It is good to be prepared for emergencies and keep a close watch on those you love. But most important is your relationship with me. Even if you were overwhelmed in the midst of the waters of a tsunami, you have me to grasp onto. You have assurance of where you are going. Many are putting off their conversion until it is too late. Do not be caught unaware. Do not drag your feet in repenting for your sins. Do not suppose you have tomorrow to do it. Your life could end this very night. And if you have been delaying your complete conversion for a pet sin, your soul and destiny are in danger. My beloved ones, I wait for you day and night to share time with you, to awaken your hearts to my passionate love for you. Most of you avoid me because you don't understand how tenderly and completely and unconditionally I love you or am in love with you. I have no illusions about your shortcomings, but nonetheless you are so beautiful to me. A precious creation that has recognized her creator is beyond value to me. So many have not recognized me, that when finally one does, my heart bursts for joy to be in communion with such a one as this. If you really got that, you would not drag your feet coming into prayer. You would not be afraid to work on your faults, because I would say to you, come, let us reason together. These things are too much for you to handle on your own. Let me live through you and help you handle them. Let's do this together, holding hands and working our way through them. That's my heart, and yet you distance yourself from me because of the false guilt Satan continually accuses you with. All that matters to me is that we be reconciled, that you finally find your home in my heart, never to depart from there. In my heart you hear my voice, feel my emotions, rest in my arms, and be kept from the constant snapping jaws of wolves and jackals assigned to torment you with false guilt. This is where I want you to be in my heart. 
free from disputing, contending, fearing, slinking away in false guilt, free from sin and continually being kept free from sin. This is your heritage. This is why I died on the cross to obtain it for you. Do not waste any more time confessing and repenting of your sins. You do not know what tomorrow holds for you. But if you are in me, you know that my open arms and heart are always in your tomorrows. And you needn't fear the plague that destroys at noon, nor the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, for I will be your shield and your savior. And because you have loved me, I will protect you.